everybody and welcome to McCarthy Math Academy. This is how to pass the math FSA fifth grade style. Today we will be working on this standard right here. It is maths.5.g.1.1 and g1.2 lesson 21 and we're working on the coordinate plane today. Two things I want you to know before we begin. One, when I refer to the origin, I'm referring to the coordinates 0, 0, which would be located right here where the x axis and the y axis meet. And also a coordinate. The first number is your x value. That's how much you're going to go over to the right. And then your y value is how much you're going up. Now, we're only using positive numbers here, no negative numbers. That does not come until, I believe, sixth grade. So just positive values. Today, we're working in quadrant one. Teachers, parents, fifth graders, you'll learn, learn what quadrant one means next time. Um, so without further ado, let me teach ya. All right, I've moved the camera in just a little bit so that way you can see the problem a little bit better here. All right, so example one has a part A and a part B. Let's go ahead and read it. It says, some locations on McKenna's town are shown in the coordinate plane. This is it. This is called a coordinate plane. Um, part A, McKenna moved from one location to another by traveling two units to the left and five units up. Which ways could she have traveled? Could she have traveled? So from the fire station to the park, if we were to go two units to the left, one, two, and five units up, we would not make it to the park, so that's wrong. If we were to go from the mall to the park, two units over, five units up, we'd be hitting the school, not the park. From the mall to the school, that's what we just said, that would work. From the fire station to the school, two units up and over, nope. So. The answer is C, going two units, one, two left, and one, two, three, four, five up would get us from the mall to the school. Now for part B, it says the location of the fire station is shown on the coordinate grid. That's right here. It's this, not the whole thing, but just that point right there. McKenna left her house and went two units to the right and two units up and arrived at the fire station. So if she goes up two units, it's one, two, she'd be right here, but she also went right, so one, two to the right. So it says use the add point to it'll plot the point that shows the location of her house. It would be right here at the coordinates one, because she went over one, up two, to plot that point. And just to make sure, it was, she went to the right two and then up two to get to the fire station. So this is her home, her house. All right, that's how you do this one. Point A has the coordinates four, two. Point B is located three units above point A. Drag point A and point B to their location on the coordinate grid. So they would be down here, and you just click them and you would put them on the grid. So we know that point A is at this coordinate. And I said that we were going to go over 4 and then up 2. So here's the x-axis. We're going to go over 4 and then up 2. That would be right here. And this would be A. Okay? And point B is three units above that. So here's A, so one, two, three, that would be B right here. That's all you need. Example three, match each point with the correct coordinate. So point A, we've got A, B, C, and D, and then we've got some coordinates up there. So point A, first we start how many we go over. So to get to point A, we went over two, over two, and then up one, two, three. So A, we need two thirds, that's right there. For B, we went over eight and then up to five. So eight, five. Oops, 
Sorry, if I had an eraser, I would erase that. It doesn't go there. Careful. Everybody makes mistakes, even me. C. We went over 5 and then up to the 8. So that would be 5 first to go over and then up 8. So let me be a little more careful. There we go. And that means that this is probably D, but I am going to make sure. D, we went over 3 and then up 2. There we go. Go. All right, here we are at example four. It's our last one for today. Yes, I changed. Um, and the reason why is because I recorded this really early this morning and I didn't get a chance to finish it. And so now I'm back. So here I am back from work and ready to record some more. So example four, use the ordered pair one, five to answer the questions below. So we're using this ordered pair right here. Part A, what does the one represent in terms of its location on the coordinate plane? So the one, if we had a coordinate plane, would be how many we're going to the right. So this one means we're gonna shift to the right one unit from the origin. The one represents one shift to the right of the origin. Maybe I should say one shift. Yeah, that's good. One shift. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Part B. What does the five represent in terms of its location on the coordinate plane. So the five would be how many we're going up. So it would be five that we're moving up and that's where that point would go. So the five represents five shifts in units, is what I was gonna say on the first one, in units up from the origin. That is it, motivational message time. All right, everybody. Today's motivational message is be you. Everybody else is already taken, okay? You were created to do great things. You have strengths you have talents, and you have gifts that other people don't have, so be you, use your gifts and talents. If you're funny, be funny. If you're focused, be focused. If you're really good at something, invest time and energy into that thing to get better and better and better. Be you, stop trying to be like everybody else, okay? True friends will like you for who you really are. Um, if you like certain music that your friends don't like, that's cool. Just be yourself. And that's all I've got for you. 